Welcome YouTube friends and family to today's edition of The Wellness Homesteader. So today, I'm actually not at my little homestead. It is going to be 93 degrees today. So I let the chickens out at like quarter till six, did all my watering, did all my choi chores. And I decided I wanted to take a little bit of a trip up to Plain City, Ohio, which is a largely Amish and Mennonite community. They have a wonderful thrift store. I think it's called Country Closet. I've taken you there before. Then there is Utsi's Grocery, and they have a lot of grass-fed, hormone and antibiotic-free type meats. And then um, there's a cheese shop, which I rarely go to. And there, the corn crib, which is their farmer's market, is also open. So come on. I had to stop at Walmart on the way. You can't go anywhere without going to Walmart, right? But I wanted to get some sugar. And while I like to eat organically, the cost of organic sugar is exactly double that of just pure cane sugar, which you can buy for $15 and some change in my area for 25 pounds of sugar. So it's in the trunk. Let's get down the road. I'm not sure how much of this clip I will be able to use because I'm just simply uh, driving and not paying attention to where the camera is, but I wanted to share with you that this area is some of the most well-capped Amish and Mennonite farms, huge farms, um, beautiful, beautiful um, fields of corn, uh, very flat here, and if you're familiar at all with Ohio, um, this location is about uh, 40 to 45 miles northeast of where I live, so kind of near Columbus, Ohio. Uh, we're getting into a little more of a town area. Here's the small school, but you start to see a lot of signs where um, you know, here's Johnny's Greenhouse, which is an Amish place. Beautiful trees here. Um, you'll see a lot of familiar Amish names. There were uh, several signs for Yoders, but it's just absolutely stunning. I would love to live in an area like this. Okay, yep, y'all. Here we are at the Country Closet Thrift Shop where every purchase is a gift to the world. So. Uh, I'm going to turn around here so you can see. I don't want to, out of respect, um, film anyone that doesn't want to be filmed, but I'll try to get some footage in here because this place is awesome. They have everything from household goods to books, great books, books, weakness, <laughs> and a lot of clothing too. So let's go inside and see what we can so, find. So out front on the porch, this twin bed frame with the slats is 30 and that is an old frame y'all what a great price um they have a lot of things that would make a good project this table comes with a custom table pad and six chairs it is i believe 35. let me show you these cool really cool chairs which would make a wonderful project these are 15 each and they have the mosaic seats and those frames could be restored quite easily. I'll give you a quick lay of the land. So this side is a lot of household goods. In the middle is clothing. And then on the other side is crafts and books. And there aren't a ton of people here. So I'm hoping we can get through without offending anyone. I certainly wouldn't want to. I want to show you a couple of the things they have here that are they're really quite neat to the Mennonite culture. They do have um, bonnets and head coverings of various um, sizes. And these are quite old, as you see. Here's a, a nice moth hole, and it almost feels like a wool. They have some sweet little Mennonite dresses and shawl coverings here as well. Lots of older dishes. And their prices are, I think, quite reasonable, much less than what a Goodwill would be. Um, apothecary jar, eight fifty. Now, this is only four dollars. This is milk glass, quite nice. Oh my goodness, they have the 
um, cream and sugar even, and they are three fifty each for the or almost oh, three fifty for the pair. We might have to call. nice big salt and pepper shakers three fifty for the pair. So lots of sweet things to look at. Over in the craft section, I just wanted to show you that they have a lot of sewing machines and they do check them and mark them as working or not working. So um, looks like this one's 37.50, 35, 35. We have more here. This one's quite old. It's a Sears Kenmore, it's 15. And this one, 27.50. So if you wanted to, Learn to sew. This would be an economical way to get started. And let's head into the book section. You all, <laughs> it was so crowded in there that I did not feel right about filming because I don't want to catch people that don't want to be filmed. But I do have a snack for on the way home. Some whole roasted salted cashews. Try not to eat too many of them. So let's head on home. About an hour drive for me give or take a little bit and i will share what i found because i did find some goodies so you all stay tuned so one of the pleasures of having some time is you go past places like this and this is called excuse the bug on the window <laughs> old 42 antiques and vintage marketplace it is not an amish store and you can see you can stand in the amish people picture um or actually, I think that's just farm people. I shouldn't say Amish. But it looks like they've got lots of good junk. So let's pop in here and see if there's anything worth filming. Well, there are some interesting mid-century pieces. This is <clears throat> a Lazy Susan with the covered dish. It appears original and complete. And it is 40. And then these are, I believe, Hull. Hull or Hall. And that's a set of two, but I have this duck, but not with the pink. And then just all kinds of things. A mid-century ice chest. This place goes all different directions. So kind of a fun little stop. Don't think I'll purchase anything price-wise, but um, fun to look at all the goodies. I had to voice over this segment, but this is the chaos room. And let me tell y'all, <laughs> this place was chaos. One sad thing is anything without a price, and there were a lot of things where without a price, they would not sell. All right, y'all. Well, made it back in one piece. Whoo, it's hot here, y'all. So behind me, you will see a 25 pound bag of granulated sugar, 25 pound bag of all purpose flour. I am low on both and with canning season coming up, I needed the sugar and I just didn't have a lot of all purpose flour. So I thought I would pick that up at Walmart. I have price shopped y'all and Walmart is the cheapest. The sugar was a little under, I think it was 1584 something right there and the flour was like $8.94. So pretty good buys on both of those. And while I was in Walmart, because I'd never been in this Walmart before, they had a clearance section. So I picked up these Power Up Pods, Mighty Mix, I think that's um, Toy Story, but they have pretty good nutrition value and it's mango, walnuts, pumpkin seeds, almonds, and dried cranberries in individual little packets. It was $3 for eight pouches. So something convenient, but to have when I'm out and about, oh, six pouches, where'd I get eight? Oh, bad eyesight. <laughs> Y'all, I did have a good time at the little uh, Mennonite thrift store. It is called the Country Closet. I spent, including tax, $11.24. So the first thing I purchased was, I did purchase the creamer, I'm sorry, the creamer <laughs> and the sugar. And this is hobnail milk glass. It matches several pieces that I had that were my mother's. And I paid $3.50 for the pair. <clears throat> the second thing I bought, I thought this was so nice. I only have, y'all, two trivets. That, that's all I have that I use. I have one that's really, really cute, but it's Lucite and I'm afraid to use it. 
So these were 75 cents each, and I thought, this is gonna be perfect as a trivet set for my double pot that I use in my sun oven, or two layers of cake, or any type of pot. So for $1.50, I thought I did well on that. The next thing, they have a really good selection of like used office supplies. And this has got a little bit of like ink on it. I'm sure I can get it off with like alcohol, but this is a nice heavy duty binder and it has a place where you can like clip in things. I am always needing binders and I paid 50 cents. <laughs> if you would buy something like that, even at the dollar, general. Uh, they're like five bucks. So I thought that was a great deal. Not sure what I'm going to put in it, but um, I'm always needing one for something. And then finally, I did pick up some books. This just intrigued me. It was $1.50. It's called Seven, An Experimental Mutiny Against Excess. And it is about a gal who took seven areas of her life that she felt she was overindulging in. Um, let's see, hang on. Well, it's on the front. Clothes, spending, waste, stress, media, possessions, and food. So I thought, you know, for some of our frugal videos, this might be a great book. And then of course, Shopping trip would not be complete without some vintage Better Homes and Gardens books. Now they're not all Better Homes and Gardens, but this is a 1957 flower arranging book. Y'all, it, it was $2. It is really, really neat. It has some great illustrations and I have a lot of cutting flowers growing in my garden. So I thought that would be a nice one to have. Then this was only 50 cents and it's Pillsbury Money Saving Meals pretty sure this is a 1970 so you know a little more recent but yeah 1970 but it has some good suggestions in here and I flipped through and I saw a couple recipes I actually liked and then this I probably won't use but hey it completes the set as I keep trying to add to my Better Homes and Gardens collection this is microwave cookbook it was a dollar and it is 1976 so it's a little bit newer but it has all kinds of things in here. So hey, might learn some tips and tricks. I'm not a big microwave cooker, so probably not. So I went on to the farmer's market and to the corn crib. So let me kind of show you here what I was able to find there. Not a lot. Um, oh, one more thing. So I just have to try this. So I had to get myself some hop and frog jam because I'm like, well, I'm sure there's no frog in it. And I read the ingredients and it sounds like kind of a hot pepper jelly, sugar, water, raspberries, jalapeno peppers, figs, pectin, orange peel, ginger, and lemon juice. So I think this will be good to try like on a cracker with cream cheese. I got the biggest Vidalia onion <laughs> I have ever seen. So... They do grow these on site, so I was able to get one of those. And then these, I'm sure, are a southern variety. I am going to put this in the fridge. If you all remember last year, Frankie fell in love with the cantaloupe, and he would cry every time I would go to move it or cut it. And he's already been, like, all over it, so I've got to get it in the fridge quickly. All right. After that, I took a quick trip over. need to get the stuff in the fridge to the grocery, which is called Utsi's. Y'all, let me tell you, that place was so crowded. It was probably an hour wait for the deli counter. So I did not even try to get any like sliced items. They do have sweet bologna. They have some unique lunch meats, but anyway, they're high in fat and very processed. So it's probably better. I just grabbed some romaine lettuce because I wanted salad. Nothing special about that. One of my favorite things that they have are their own dressings. And the Vidalia onion and cucumber is my favorite. They were out of it last year, so I got a bottle of that. I am going to try a dish with curry. Not sure if I'm going to like it, but I know my son likes curry, so I can always pass it over to him. But they have a lot of bulk spices. Um, 
You saw my me snacking a bit on the whole cashews, and these are delicious, y'all. Um, SAF yeast. Guys, this has gone up. It's always been the cheapest there. Usually I'll pick up a couple packages, put it in the deep freeze. It was, uh, I believe, $6.99 yeah, $6 this time. So I didn't price it against, say, Amazon or some of the other places. But that way I can check expiration date. And on Amazon, you just get what you get. The uh, only cheese I purchased was their Lacy Baby Swiss cheese just to have something kind of different. And this also was a little bit pricey. Um, hang on, wait for it. $4. Well, you know, it is, um, I don't think it's a pound. Uh, it might be a pound of cheese. And then the last thing I got, which I do like buying from there, is their clear gel. So clear gel is what you use to make pie fillings and they do sell it in bulk. It was $3.19 a pound, but I like the way their product performs. So I decided to pick up a bag of that. So that was my exciting day today. If y'all see me sweating, that's because I am. You turn the air on, just turn all the ceiling fans on. It's um, around 90. It's just early for it, so I'm not used to it yet but it was fun getting out. I'm glad y'all could go along shopping with me. I will see you all very soon. I just wanted to drop this quickly for you. And until I see you again, do me a favor, smash the like button, drop me a comment. What do you think of my thrift buys? Oh, and it came in a Christmas gift bag. That's what they bagged it in, suitable for regifting. So that was like a bonus, right? <laughs> all right, y'all, I'll see you very soon. Be healthy, be well, be blessed, take care.